it appears that many people didn't wish for Messi to win the World Cup for the first time. Immediately following Argentina's 3-0 victory over Croatia, which guaranteed their spot in the World Cup final, the word rigged topped Twitter's trending topics list. A comfortable victory over the 2018 finalists, which Lionel Messi helped inspire, moves him closer to the end of his football career. The referee decided to give Argentina a penalty kick after Croatian goalkeeper Dominic Lebakovic brought down Julian Alvarez in the 34th minute. Messi took the penalty kick and scored a goal for his team. Hello and welcome to Goalside. In today's video, we'll talk about why people are thinking this World Cup is rigged. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Next, Alvarez doubled his team's lead six minutes before half-time. Manchester City's striker won the game with a second goal after a mesmerizing run from Messi. The second period was the time of the tally in question. Many spectators voiced their displeasure with the final whistle, with some alleging that the World Cup had been fixed so that Messi could win. A fan has voiced his belief that this World Cup is the most rigged ever because Argentina has been awarded five penalty kicks. Another Twitter user wrote, five penalties in six games and I'm supposed to believe this isn't rigged. A third cheerleader added, the whole World Cup is fixed so that Messi can win it. Interestingly, there are still skeptics. Yet another voice chimed in, rigged, in no way is that equivalent to a punishment. That every referee in this tournament has favoured Argentina and given Messi the upper hand is driving me up the wall. Joke. After Portugal's loss to Morocco on Saturday, defender Pepe made headlines for all the wrong reasons. A FIFA official's decision to assign an Argentinian referee to the match between Portugal and Morocco drew harsh criticism from Pepe. He voiced his disapproval of having an Argentine official oversee their match. Considering what happened the day before, when Messi was talking and the rest of Argentina was talking, the referee came over here and blew the whistle. Argentina will undoubtedly emerge victorious from this tournament. However, Bruno Fernandes was quoted as saying, I don't know if they're going to give the trophy to Argentina. I don't give a crap. I'm going to say exactly what's on my mind. Weirdly, our game is being refereed by a man from a country that is still in the tournament. Clearly, the odds have been stacked against us. Depending on who wins Wednesday night's second semi-final, Argentina will either play France or Morocco in the championship game. Despite the fact that many people would be thrilled to see Lionel Messi win the World Cup for the first time in his career, fans have voiced their displeasure with a number of decisions that went in Argentina's favour during the World Cup semi-final and earlier in the competition. They'll face off against either France or Morocco on Sunday in the championship game. In Wednesday night's second semi-final, both teams will be playing for a chance to go down in tournament history books. Morocco is the first African team to reach the semi-finals, and if they were to win this match, they would make history as the first African team to ever contend for a spot in the championship game. At the same time, France is attempting to become the first team to successfully defend their World Cup title since Brazil in 1962. There have been times in Messi's career when it appeared that the weight of an entire nation's expectations was too much for him to bear. This caused him to feel anxious and nervous. To lose was even more agonizing because of how unbearable the prospect of failure became. Ex-Argentina fitness coach Fernando Signorini recalled seeing a zombie-like Lionel Messi shamble into the locker room and collapse after the team's 4-0 quarterfinal loss to Germany in 2010. He was slumped in the space between two benches, crying out in anguish and making noises that were almost convulsive. There are those who think the World Cup was fixed, but even they have to admit that Messi is the best ever. For a nation devastated by triple-digit inflation and months of economic and political uncertainty, this was a rare and joyful occasion. The joy and elation were caused by Argentina winning their third World Cup in a match that will be remembered as a timeless classic. Despite the game's back-and-forth nature, the team ultimately prevailed, and on Sunday afternoon, jubilant fans dressed in the sky blue and white of the national flag gathered in the downtown area of Buenos Aires to celebrate. Argentina's first World Cup championship in 36 years provided a welcome distraction from the drudgery of daily life. Because this might have been Lionel Messi's last World Cup appearance, the victory over France in the penalty shootout at Lucelle Stadium in Qatar, after the teams finished extra time, tied at 3-3, was bittersweet. Messi is the idol of Argentine fans everywhere and a global icon. When Messi hoisted the trophy into the Qatari night and presented it to the crowd, he cemented his status as the best player in the world and perhaps in the history of the game. Emiliano Piano, age 41, and other fans made the long, expensive trip to Qatar to see Lionel Messi, age 35, hoist the World Cup. There were thousands of people from Argentina who made the trip, and Piano was one of them. He saw all seven games, first with his partner and then five friends who joined them. Over the phone, he told reporters, personally, this is a dream come true. The crowd of cheering fans in Qatar was his backdrop. 
For me, this is a dream come true. I was able to see Messi become world champion after he had competed in the tournament five times before. Messi scored the game's first penalty kick goal, scored again in overtime to tie the game at 2 all, and then scored the game-winning goal in the shootout. After Gonzalo Montiel scored the game-winning kick, Messi dropped to his knees in the middle of the penalty area, and his teammates quickly surrounded and encircled him. It's crazy that it all unfolded like this, he said. The phrase, I wanted this so badly, comes out of your mouth. For Piano and millions of other Argentines, this win lightens the load of another difficult year for the country's economy. Inflation has been a constant problem in this crisis-prone country all year, and after starting the year at 50%, it is expected to end the year near 100%. Wage growth for many new employees is below the rate of inflation, despite the fact that there are more jobs available and the unemployment rate is down. As a result, workers' ability to spend money is dwindling. Extreme poverty has been on the rise recently. If history is any indication, the next year's presidential election will add even more uncertainty to an economy already struggling through a crop drought, negatively impacting exports of vital commodities. The central bank polled economists and found that the vast majority believe inflation will stay near 100% until the end of the following year. However, it appears that at the moment, all Argentines are working together. As Piano put it, the success shared by the entire nation bonded the citizens. Winning doesn't resolve anything, but for a moment you feel grateful that there isn't the famous political divide, he said. This well-known schism in political opinion, supporters were seen singing, dancing, and climbing onto balconies, lampposts, and any other available vantage point as they flooded the streets of the capital. The unforgiving truths of economic reality were not exactly front and center at the time. The celebrations included Messi and the rest of the team being honored. It's because of him that the group didn't get going right away. Following an unexpected opening loss to Saudi Arabia, Messi has helped lead the Albi Celeste to five consecutive victories leading up to Sunday's match. Those wins were crucial in getting the team to Sunday's championship game. Messi's coach Lionel Scaloni has said that it's way too early to start thinking about the end of Messi's international career. Messi's play was a major factor in the Albi Celeste's run of five straight wins leading up to Sunday's matchup after they started the campaign with a shocking loss to Saudi Arabia. The team's success has propelled them to the Sunday showdown. What do you think about people who think on Argentina winning this World Cup means it's rigged? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.